In this video, I want to show you how to pull your Excel data into your Access database. Uh, if, let's take a look at the Excel spreadsheet. Notice how the first row contains your field names, that's very important. And then each row after that is a different record, and each column is a different field. Notice also that it's one continuous block of data. So it's very important that the Excel spreadsheet is like this. Uh, and we'll see that when it's like this, we can easily put it into our Access database. So let's close out of Excel. And let's go into Access. So here's a typical Access database. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on the External Data tab. Then notice over here we can import or link to uh, different data sources. And here we can export from Access into the different data sources. So we're going to pick on uh, the Import and Link section, then we'll pick on Excel. Now the first thing I usually do on this screen is I, I'm going to point to my Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on Browse. Mine happens to be on my Windows desktop uh, in a folder. And then, uh, so here's my different Excel spreadsheets that I work with. And uh, I'm going to get one that's called the same spreadsheet I just showed you. It's called Europe Expenses. Click on Open, of course. Now you have three choices down here. If you pick on Import, that's going to make a new table in the Access database from the Excel spreadsheet. However, when you do an import, it's just a copy of the data. They will not be linked to each other. Uh, and append means you're going to take those records from the Excel spreadsheet and append them to an existing access table. Now, to do that one, you'd have to have an access table that has similar field names. And then link means it's going to make a new table in um, access. However, when we do a link, if we change the Excel spreadsheet, it'll also update the Access database at the same time. So that can be useful as well. In this case, we'll do an import. I'm going to click on OK. Now, uh, it just opened up the Excel spreadsheet, and now you're going to pick which sheet has the actual data. Uh, you can also do it by named ranges as well from the uh, Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to pick on the worksheets, and I'll pick on the sheet that is called Europe Expenses. You can see that's where our data is. I'll pick on Next. Now, here's an important choice. It says Microsoft Access can use your column headings as field names for your table. Does the first row contain your column headings? Well, I just showed you that it does. So you want to make sure that that is checked. And you can see when it's checked, you can see exactly what happens. The first row became, becomes your field names. Each different row is a different record. So, so far, so good. We'll pick on Next. Now. On this screen, what you can do is you can change each field. Now, you don't have to change anything on this screen, but here's the things you can change. You can change the field names as they're going to appear in the Access database. You can make that field indexed or not within the Access database. You can change the data type, or you can also skip that field and not import it. So you can do that field by field. Many times, however, you don't have to do anything on this screen. So I'm going to pick on Next. Now, this is talking about the primary key. You can either let Access add the primary key, which means it's going to add one of those auto number fields, as we can see. If you already have a unique field, you can choose your own primary key from one of the fields that exists. Or you can say no primary key. In this case, I'm going to say let Access add the primary key, which will give you one of those auto number fields for each record, as we can see. We'll pick on Next. Now, you're going to give that table a name. You can change the name, but I'm just going to call it Europe Expenses, which is fine. I'm going to pick on Finish. Now, here's an important, here's an interesting step. This started in Excel 2010. I mean, Access 2010. It says, "Do you want to save these import steps? This will allow you to quickly repeat the operation without using the wizard." So that means if you're going to re-import that same Excel spreadsheet in the future, you can say, "Save import steps." So the next time you do it, it'll only be one or two steps instead of going through that whole sequence. Uh, I'm going to pick on Close here. Now, notice how I pulled the Excel spreadsheet in, and now we have a new table that's called Europe Expenses. Notice uh, it has the auto number field, then it has all of the other fields from the Excel spreadsheet. Now it's just like any other access table. When you do an import, however, 
now it is two independent copies of the same data. So if you change the Excel spreadsheet, it will not update the Access database. So here's another alternative. In this case, I'm going to pick on external data. I'm going to pick on Excel. Now I'll pick on the same file. I'll pick on Browse and I'll use the same file again. This time I'm going to pick a link and we'll see the difference. I'll click on OK. Now um, I'm going to use the same worksheet, the Europe Expenses worksheet. We'll pick on Next. I am, the first row does contain the column headings, of course, like I just showed you, so we'll pick on Next. And then this time I want to call the table Europe Expenses uh, Linked so we'll know which one is which. We'll pick on finish there. I'm able to link that table in. I'm going to click on OK. Notice the difference here. First of all, you see the arrow. Anytime you see the arrow in an access database on a table, that means it's a linked table. So that table is external to your current database. Also, notice how it has the Excel uh, icon. So that really means if I change the Excel spreadsheet on the Excel side, It'll change it here as well. Let me show you what I mean by that. If I look, if I look at the data, it looks exactly the same as the other table. But I'm going to go into Excel. I'm going to open up the same spreadsheet. And I'm going to change the first record. Uh, so we'll see that it changes. So let's say here it says 824. I'm going to change that to, uh, to today's date. And then in the country, I'll change that to United States. So that's a pretty obvious change. It was a different date, and it said Czechoslovakia up there. I'm going to close that window, and I'll save it. Now, the first one that we imported into Access Notice how that one did not change. That's an independent copy of the data. All right, so you can see it still has the old values. However, let's go to the one that's linked, and we can see that it did change there. You can see it has the updated data. So that's the difference between an import and a link, and that's how we can import our Excel spreadsheet into our Access database.